So I thought I was going to be done with the pea fish for a little while. They wrapped it up in Miami, and then this news gets dropped on us. Trey and Hoinsby. Hoinsby? Bruce Hoinsby? They're going to join the Grateful Dead, the remaining members, the core four, as the deadheads like to call them. Yeah, dude, we got Phil Lash, Bob Weir, Kreitzman's going to be there, dude. It's going to be awesome, bro. They're going to play the other one. I don't know, man. We'll see. We'll see. My level of interest is around a seven. Could be up to a ten, could fall to a four. What's Bob Weir? That guy dude? could be the only holdup, Bob Weir. You know, I'm a Grateful Dead fan. I like him. One from the vault, probably one of my favorite live shows ever. Got that on CD back in the late 90s. Listened to it a million times. Probably going to bust it out again here recently. Might have to might have to find that one on a... Uh, hop on a iTunes or something. Get one from the vault. Is Dead Music on there? I think it is. Pretty sure. Something weird with their music online. Though. I forget. I don't know. I've been out of the Dead thing for a long time. For good reason. Bunch of old farts and rat dog and all these bands. Oh, I shouldn't do that. I'm not going to start yeah, insulting. Yeah, no, no intentions to insult the dead, man. Because that's basically a Grateful Dead show. And there's just going to be a bunch of chomper fish fans taking over. Soldier Field. It's going to be going to be a lot of... But really, for the most part, I just think it's a cool move by Trey. There aren't many people that could step in there. Fill the shoes, so to speak, of Jerry Garcia. Trey Antipasta is one of the few men that could do it. So if they want to go out with their big 50th anniversary reunion, farewell, run, whatever you want to call it, July 3rd, 4th, and 5th, Trey can do it. The guy from the Disco Biscuits, maybe, but nobody's interested in seeing him. Well, then I guess the questions just become, what are they going to play? What's the deal? How's the jamming going to go? Are they going to rehearse? Are they going to click when it comes to jamming? They're just going to roll through song after song for two sets. They're going to play the old stuff. They're going to play the later stuff. It's all old stuff at this point. Will they play fish songs? I doubt it. Will fish then in the future play dead songs? They used to play Eyes of the World, I believe. I think they've played Eyes of the World in a long time. Fish, that is. The pea fish. What's Mike Gordon think of all this? Does Mike Gordon want to secretly do something to Phil Lesh so then he can join Trey and the other guys on stage? Probably not. Gordo and that scarf, he wouldn't work out. I'm going with Phil Lesh and the wristbands over Gordo and the scarf anyhow when it comes to playing songs like U.S. Blues. So that's it. That's that's my take. That's my two cents. Whatever you want to call it. Some people were interested, I guess. A few people. Some people. I got to come up with something to call the people. I see I got people on Twitter. I got people that send me texts, tweets, YouTube viewers. I got to come up with a name for all of them. I don't want to call them chompers because they're not, man. I got cool people. Fucking chompers don't even like me. Of course they don't like me. They don't get me. They're idiots. They're chompers. But, unfortunately, if we're in Soldier Field, we're going to have to deal with a lot of them. That's the problem when you get a venue that's stadium size. Every chomper's welcome. Coming from all over. The East Coast, the West Coast, the Midwest. There'll even be some Milwaukee chompers there. And lastly, I guess, if you're a deadhead and you happen to find this video and you hate fish, I'm sure I didn't help. But, hey, don't give up on the pea fish, man. They're all right. They're a good band. Don't let a guy like me run you off. <laughs> See you in Chicago, bro.